Okay, so I haven't said much recently. It's been a lot of montages of building. Right now I'm still trying to puzzle over what I want to do down at the bottom in the storage area. Uh, simple item sorter might work, although, as everyone swear, I don't know how to do how to do redstone pretty much at all. I can puzzle a little bit here and there, but I look to the uh, people that have a clue to get that accomplished. But I'm still short a ton of wood. Right now, that's the extent of the wood. Pre-made gates, enough for probably five rows. And five more rows doesn't quite cut it. That'll get us oh, halfway to that. There appear to be still about 20 more rows of gates that need to be put in. As well, I still need about 10 or 15 stacks of dirt for the upper layer. Anyway, that's a, that's it for the update. Watch me gather resources now. So here's a quick tour. Um, we've had a lot of thunderstorms recently. What we found is, hey, there's a skeleton horse sitting in the water. Nobody around it. We get near, pop. You've got four skeleton horses and four skeletons, usually armored to some degree. Um, once you've dealt with the skeletons, the, you have the four horses left. One horse is usually this powerful. It's at uh, 26 on the right. One horse has 13, and two horses are usually around 10. So this has happened a couple of times near here. So I've gotten two horses. Alchemy Girl grabbed the first horse. I believe Raving Lunatic got one. I'm not positive. And then... I was able to get another one. We've also had lightning strikes, like four or five, I believe, while we were inside working on this, working on this level. We just see well, what's going on. The prismarine's on fire, and then I just caught on the edge of the camera last night one flash of light coming out of the sky, and yeah. Lightning has struck repeatedly on the inside of this structure. I have a floating structure up top. I will show you that momentarily. I have been told it looks like a Mars doodle. That was not the intent, but great. That four point four points of uh, sea lanterns right there in the center is directly above the uh, the pit or the death chamber the fall fall into or where the fall into lava will be and it should be at level 125 I believe or 120 I can't remember what I put it on so that should put you far enough away that 90 95% of whatever spawns is going to be just this. <coughs> Especially if I continue digging out underneath and expanding on the storage system. That will be a little tricky. There are three options I have. One is finding someone who does redstone to put in a sorting system, at which point I will then separate out fish, ink sacks, 
prismarine shards and the shards for the sea lanterns and then I will have them stored separately. The other option is to build a top down hopper chain and chest combo so that only the bottom chest or the, all the bottom chests fill up so you just need access to the very bottom level of chests to get items. However, that doesn't guarantee you'll be able to find what you need in the bottom chests. If all you're looking for are sea lantern components, well, they'd be scattered throughout all the chests as they filled up. When you took a stack out of the very bottom chest, something would get shuffled down. But no guarantees it's what you need. And that would pull from... A hopper would feed the top level of chests, then fill those, those chests would fill the next level down, hoppers underneath them to draw, and it basically forms a, uh, a set of stairs, basically. Something gets put in the top chest, the hoppers below it, draw it down to the next level, and so on and so on until it gets to the bottom level of chests. No guarantee you'll get what you want. The other idea is just racks and racks of double chests being fed by hoppers. Those, again, same thing. You would have to search all the chests for what you are looking for. They would not automatically filter to the bottom. You'd have to run around and check all of the chests. So, I think the easiest way is that. However, if this becomes as large as I think it will, uh, at the other monument, we have four sets. So we have eight double chests at the other sea monument. I have not filled them up recently. They haven't gotten full recently. But again, that's just a tiny segment of the spawnable area, and it is so far away that most people don't access it. However, I was able to replace the entire outer walls over there build some structures on the inside using just what had been produced while I was there and accessing those eight chests or eight doubles repeatedly. Here I have currently have space I believe set up for 24 double chests so three times the volume set up as just a rack and easily expandable. Just, well, easily depending on how much wood I can get for the hoppers. So it wouldn't be too difficult to access it at the moment. However, depending on how much it gets used and what people are looking for, it could become an issue. Oh, and the other monument I was continuously taking out stacks of raw fish and sending them into oblivion to despawn. So again, I'm not sure. I would love to set up the sorter, just sort out four items, get them all shuffled off, and limit how much space I have. So I don't see any real need beyond one double chest for fish, you know, two more double chests or three double chests for ink sacks, everything else for crystals and prismarine shards. But again, it depends on how I can get this set up. And for me, the redstone, I don't understand how the sorter works. I know how to build one, but I'm not understanding how it works. I'm a little uh, uncomfortable using it because if something breaks, I won't know why or what to fix without just tearing it right down and going back to normal or back to the original design. Okay, so this is the interior. Water will be sweeping from this location down once I remove the ladders. Once we are ready to activate, we'll push everything to here, flowing over these hoppers. 
any squids that have died should be flushed here. Their ink sacs should be picked up by the hoppers. The hoppers then shuffle them into other hoppers behind this wall, which then run straight down. On this level, so we've got hopper level, block level, the dark prismarine is where the lava will sit. So one level, two levels, three levels, four levels of lava, and then the signs will be here to hold the lava up. So that area will be free of lava, this is free of lava, this is free of lava. Some of them may bounce high enough or jump high enough to hit the lava and lose an item or two, but it will be rare, or should be very rare. As well, there is no way to salvage any ink sacs that get swept straight into these four. I figure that's about a just a hair over 3.5% loss, so that's not really an issue. I like the look of Dark Prismarine, but it's more of an accent. And if I'm going to be capturing 96.5% of the ink sacs that are being swept up in the system anyway, I don't see it as much of a loss. So, this is where the storage system will be. These hoppers are coming down from above. These hoppers are feeding from here. Now, this is where I'm kind of stalled out until I decide on a sorting system or storage system. If I just go straight storage system, it'll be straight and simple storage system will allow me to put double chest, three levels high, sorry, two levels at the moment, so two, leave a gap, four, leave a gap, six, leave a gap, eight, and the same on this side. So currently I'd have room for 16 double chests. You can see they would fill up rather quickly. It would be manually search to find what you're looking for. Now that could be expanded on not quite infinitely, but pretty close. Um, I run this out as far as it'll load in each direction. You can put a chest every second spot. Then if you need to, you turn and then you start laying out double chests facing this way. Double chests, double chests, double chests, double chests. And down the other direction further under the monument. You could have the entire bottom of the monument as one large open room and could dig it down one more level and go to three levels of chests every second spot being a stack of being a stack of uh, three double chests. If I add in the sorting system I can do something similar with the output pipes and go an entire wall is prismarine shards, an entire wall is sea lantern shards, and then split up and go, yeah, this handful of chests are for ink sacks and raw fi or raw fish. So nothing else will spawn unless you manually kill them currently. I could even add a rejection list pile, but that would be pretty useless in the end. There might be something stuck in the system, so an output beside the beside the fish that says, yeah, these three double chests are unsorted items. Or I expand on it and add in a here, toss items in here, and recycle them. So any crafted items would then go through, such as sea lanterns, prismarine brick, prismarine blocks, and dark prismarine. So, potentially eight items to sort out total. Okay, so once this is activated, there is no way to get down here currently, because that'll be solid tube of lava. I have some... Uh, I've asked for some help trying to figure out a way to set up four iron trap doors 
run off of a redstone switch that won't interfere with the hoppers. That becomes a little bit more difficult. So that on these blocks, either the just above the lava, I can either put either have pistons or iron trap doors that would flip open or push into place and block off this so nothing falls in if I wanted to do work on it. So there would be nothing worse, I believe, than being trapped in this area with a rain of guardians coming down on you. In fact, I've pretty much experienced that while draining. It's pretty horrible. You die very, very quickly. However, because of my inexperience with redstone, that would either require me to manually build a ladder up there and go off, 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 you know, throw four levers on the back of the blocks to flip iron trap doors into place, or more, more help, which I've asked. We'll see what we can figure out. So, after that, so that may not be put in. So anyway, you would be trapped down here if you were here and this was operating, eventually dying. Except, added a connection to the nether loop. So if you're not familiar with it, the nether loop is the rapid subway system, basically, through the nether that we've been working on. So, we enter the portal. Is it level 5? Negative 160, positive 200. Step in. And step out. Now, this area has just been... just started constructing this area recently. Have not been putting in a lot of work on it. I've been tied up with the Guardian Farm. So, this is our 0 by 0 portal. That is our pathway to town at the moment, along with a couple of other sites of interest. This will get rails eventually, powered rails, and they will run you to each station. They're 500 blocks apart. Unless there's a point of interest. Point of interest are basically little offshoots like this, Currently, just takes you over to this portal. This portal takes you right back to where you were. In the storage level. And thought is I would dig down storage eventually to level 5 and expand on it as needed. Also have to do that just to find some of these caverns. This was a large lava area. It's now a source of obsidian for me. We'll see what else I can find. But, other interesting location. A tedious route up. It was more tedious building it. But that was level 5 in, in the nether. So we go straight up. There is one landing here, just as a uh, little happenstance. It was extremely close to an existing pathway that leads up to the blaze farm or back to the town town hall portal nether hub, I believe is what it was being called. So continue up. Like I say, a long, tedious climb. Dropping isn't much easier at the moment. I may have to expand this to three wide so there's a gap so that you can just fall. Okay, this portal, level 120. And 
at this point, we are also at level 120. So, do not fall off in this direction. At the moment, this is just an indicator. I have been thinking of some options, so while people are AFKing here to run the farm, they can do something else. Perhaps making this an AFK fish farm or something. But if you were to fall in this area, you would land and splatter. However, this extends, as does the other one, just past the boundary. So, for rapid descent, you can hop off into the ocean. I am considering also putting up a small base as my, my home up in this area, probably up above the uh, above the AFK area or up above the portal. Pushing it up probably another 10 to, 10 to 30 blocks in total so that when I'm entering the base I'll start spawning some items but then I can go up far enough that they should not be spawning. That'll put me up around level 150. So this portal also links just straight back where it is supposed to. So, as you can see, the tedious trip down by ladder. If I push this either side out one block, probably that way, or this way, or off to the sides, you would be able to then get to the middle and just go, yep, done. And just drop until you got close to the bottom. Problem is, being in the nether, I think I would require well, I'm not sure if you'd survive a hay bale drop. I haven't looked at the math on it or seen the videos. I just know they reduce damage by a huge amount. So again, as I said, I haven't done the math, but a hay bale, hay bales at the bottom and removing either one ladder or widening this to make it three wide so that you can drop if you choose to. Easiest would probably be removing one set of ladders. I'll figure out something eventually. <laughs> so anyway, this is the how close it was to our existing pathway. Down in that direction is a blaze rod farm or a blaze farm and back this way is our nether hub which has entrances down to uh, down to the nether loop but we'll continue this way for now so I may have to add yet a third portal into this system so that there's something at the ground level of the station. Or, sorry, of the uh, of the structure. Zero by zero is close and there were talks of putting in excuse me one moment so the zero by zero portal is close especially by way of town. We're also talking about putting in an overland transport system so that in town we could just hop on and loop to some people's bases. So this might not require a ground level portal that close. If it does, it would be at around level 63 
and then a little further off to one side. So, let's see where 63 puts us. I am guessing up in the middle of uh, nowhere. Oh. Sixty-three might be doable, however, as you can see here, this most of this platform had to be extended out over a lake or a lava ocean. Sixty-three would be six blocks up, so about there. And to put it on the uh, on the island that exists, well, rather the platform that exists would probably require it to be out yeah it would require it to be out that direction probably another 10 blocks so it's doable it is an option Okay, I hear a wither. I am not set up to do anything with it, so I will just call that uh, end of the little tour at the moment. I will talk at you all later. Oh, one thing I didn't show you, which I really don't like doing this, I hate heights, is that. That's your rapid way down if you really want out, possibly even down to, down to this level once the roof is in. As long as we fall one direction, that's where you will end up quite safely. <laughs> if you hit the water, don't hit the wall. So again, continuous plans and trying to tweak this to get it right.